What was really important for me was to have really great actors. Um, it's a movie where you can get carried away in the special effects and the fantasy of it, but unless the actors are just superb, it, it wouldn't work for me at least. So I've, I'm very happy to have really great actors inhibiting all the roles. I just did some research and I did find some of the runes in Cassandra's books originate from the old Viking era. It's the angelic symbol. It's actually uh, one of the original Viking runes too. So it's actually a rune, which means just symbols that have a certain power or a certain message. Um, we're obviously taking that further, that once you tattoo yourself with these runes, you do get a, 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 a particular type of power. You can make yourself not be visible, or you can get a little more strength, or this and that, and that's how it works in the Shadow Hunter world. The portal was a bit of a tough uh, idea to crack because you know it's a uh, that had to be something really important. It, it's kind of our end scene. It's the end of the abyss where if you fall over and uh, fall into the portal, you know it, it takes you where your your subconscious takes you. And if you're not aware of where you're going, it can be a really dangerous thing. And I like that almost that psychological element to it. Uh, and obviously the portal has to be something visually stunning. So we worked a lot on how the, the light will emanate from it and all that. And I tried to experiment with what is the actual surface of the portal. I thought actually maybe the more, most fascinating thing would be to see just the water surface, but just seeing it vertically. So the surface of the portal is just pure water and it ripples like pure water. And when you go through it, you get soaking wet. <laughs>